Catalytic converter thefts have reached record highs across the country. We're also seeing that spike here, and it's hurting the wallets of thousands on the Central Coast. KSBY's Nina Lozano has an in-depth look at what's fueling the increase in thefts and the steps lawmakers are taking to stop it. Most people do not think too much about their vehicle's catalytic converter, a device that reduces smog connected to the tailpipe under your car. But catalytic converters have become an easy target for thieves who are after precious metals inside, leaving victims with a headache and a pricey repair job. That's the sound you do not want to wake up to. Someone stealing your car's catalytic converter. This video from a viewer captured the thieves in action in an Orchid neighborhood in a crime that took less than three minutes but can cost drivers thousands. <laughs> Tiffany Burdeen knows it firsthand. As soon as my husband started up the vehicle, it was okay, you know, turn that off. It's loud. Our catalytic converter is gone. Without insurance, it would have cost her $5,000 to replace the catalytic converter in her Honda. But she paid her $1,000 deductible and insurance covered the rest. It was the, that $1,000. That was the last two weeks. That was the Christmas pay. That was 40 plus hours a week put in. Her family was unable to use the car for six weeks while waiting for a replacement. We're a two vehicle family and having only one vehicle to work with between getting the kids to school, from school to daycare, me getting to and from work, my husband. It was such a headache. Catalytic converter thefts have skyrocketed across the nation. California drivers are hit the hardest, topping all other states in reported thefts. On the Central Coast, there are more than 1,000 catalytic converters reported stolen within 2021 alone and hundreds more so far this year. The hardest hit areas are in unincorporated Santa Barbara County with 285 reported thefts in 2021. The city of Paso Robles with 175 reports. The city of San Luis Obispo with 170. And the city of Santa Maria with 160 reports from mid-September to mid-March of this year. Most often targeted are hybrids and trucks made by Toyota, Honda, and Ford. So why are catalytic converters such a hot item for thieves? These catalytic converters are stolen off of vehicles and then they're taken to um, recycling locations where they're turned in for money. Driving the spike in thefts, the increasing value of precious metals and catalytic converters, some more valuable than gold, plus limited resources and supply chain issues. Scrap yards pay anywhere from $50 to hundreds of dollars per catalytic converter. What we're seeing is uh, thieves taking advantage of what should be a legitimate market. One of the reasons could be is that there's a lack of regulation for the recycling companies to be able to take these in with some sort of checks or imbalances for where the converter came from. Dozens of states have already addressed that issue, either enacting or firming up existing legislation that would require recyclers to maintain records of purchases and anyone selling catalytic converters to show proof of